Graduation is here, you've really come far. Rejoice and be happy, accept who you are. Address every day with purpose and aim. Decide what you want, make living your game. Understand and discover, always be true. The world is your canvas, inviting and new. Opportunity awaits you, just walk through the door. New moments each day are yours to explore. No matter which road you choose, no matter how long it may seem, let your heart be your guide along the way. If you want to fulfill your dreams, no matter the detours, the roadblocks, or dark nights, continue your heart's desire. Lift up your torch and don't be afraid to set the world on fire. You are the light of a new day. Shine for all to see. Carry your knowledge from this day forward. Blaze a trail for history. No one will ever be like quite like you. Remember this important truth. We all have a purpose in this life and it begins in, your, in our youth. Who you are now and who you will become is determined by your soul. And with your dreams in your heart to lead the way, you can conquer any goal. Congratulations and welcome to Stafford School Honors and Graduation Day 2021. I'm Clayton from Primary 6 and I'm going to be telling you about the greatest memories I've had in Stamford. So the first one is when my friends and I went to Jogjakarta. We had lots of fun there, we even get to experience new things. And the second one is during primary camp we had a lot of fun, ate so much nice foods and even camped together. And overall memories in Stamford are great and truly unforgettable. Thank you. My favorite memory from Stafford is my favorite memory from Stafford is when me and my classmates went on a field trip together to the museum and Farm. I enjoyed going on a field trip with my friends. I also miss playing tag with my friends at school. I also miss studying together at school. I miss being together again. But sadly, we are gonna graduate and we are all gonna separate from each other. But thankfully, we are all safe. Hi, I'm Seisha. So some of the memories I made in Stamford is when me and my classmates played in the soccer field, playing soccer, the monkey balls, and also reading our class, our class story there. I especially miss studying in the classrooms with all the teachers there and my classmates. Those memories will forever stay in my heart.
Stanford was the time we had fun together with my friends and teachers and the field trips you went to have fun and to learn new things and the lessons we we were taught by the teachers when I didn't understand my friends would be there to help me or the teachers and during online too they were all fun and yeah they were all memories I like Stanford because it is good school. It has many clean facilities. My favorite memory is when I went camping in Stanford or when I went to Yogyakarta with my friends. They are very fun. Very good experiences include with the very good food. Hi everyone, I am Anika. One of my favorite memories in Stanford is my trip to Jogjakarta. During that trip, my friends and I got to spend more time with each other and we also became more close. Another favorite memory of mine is when my friends and I camped in our school soccer field together with Ms. Caparaz. I still remember Stanford's Fun Fit Friday. Trekking was really fun, even though I would get tired sometimes. Uh, Stanford has given us a lot of opportunities. It is not just a school, but it's also a place where we can have lots of fun with our friends and teachers. These school memories will always be in my heart. Stanford's environment is very friendly and I am lucky to have such kind teachers. I will miss everyone in Stanford. Thank you. While I was in the school, I made wonderful memories. One of my most memorable experiences is when my classmates and I went to Jogjakarta. We spent lots of time together with our teachers who took very good care of us. I am so grateful that I got to complete my primary education in Stanford. You taught me to believe in myself and now I am confident wherever I go and can face all the possible situations. Because Stanford, you made me who I am today. I thank you today and forever. I'll miss you. Some of 
my favorite memories at Stamford was when we went camping at school. It was very fun because we had an exercise where we went exploring around the school. I also got to spend a lot of time with my friends. I, we also got to eat soup, which was very delicious. Another time was when we went to a museum for, the field, for a field trip. I learned a lot of interesting facts and I saw a lot of skeletons, which was very cool. My name is Charlene and the memory I liked when I was in Stanford was when me and my friends would go to the library after school and chat or play board games such as Jenga, Chess, Uno, Werewolf, and more. And we liked to chat in the beanbags because it was very comfortable as there was also the con air conditioner. And in Jenga, we also like to play it another way, such as using the Jenga blocks to make a house or making something else. to miss you all and for my best memories video I mean <laughs> for my best memories in Stanford is probably going to field trip it going to field trip to Malang and Jogja was the most fun thing field trip and like for example we go to theme park we laugh together we sleep together in a hotel and we play a lot together like I remember one time we play hide and seek in the hotel, all over the hotel, and it was fun. And hope we can, you know, do that maybe one day later in the future. Thank you, Stanford. I'm gonna miss you all.
guys, I'm Ankit from Secondary 4 and before I start, I would like to congratulate all those graduating today. Uh, Stanford has always been my favorite school. Uh, with the lush greeneries and peaceful studying atmosphere, I really enjoyed studying and learning here and of course making new friends in Stanford. Uh, thanks to all caring teachers and fun friends for making my past 9 years here in Stanford as memorable as possible. All the field trips, prefect camps we held, and of course, inter-school events. We felt we were so enjoyable that almost everyone enjoyed. And yeah, thanks to all teachers and all other staffs for planning such events and keeping our school the best. Uh, it is very heartbreaking to hear that our beloved school is closing, and especially I did not expect it. Expect the final year of our school to be online. I really wished it was offline. And yeah. Also, congratulations to all that's graduating today. I wish everyone here good luck for their future and may their dreams be fulfilled. Thank you everyone and thank you Stanford for all these amazing years we've had. Stanford will always hold a special place in my heart and of course I'm pretty sure everyone else does. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Devan from Sec4. I have lots of memories in Stanford. I remember going snorkeling with friends in Bali or the theme parks we did in Malang. Um, of course, the daily life in Stanford were also some of the most memorable times in my life. The times where we laughed with each other or even the times when we got supported by the teachers. It's still very fun to look back on and I thank everyone for that. I'm Divya from Secondary 4 and I've only been in Stanford for about a year but I've already had a lot of wonderful experiences with everyone. I had a lot of trouble when I first came into school as this some of the subjects I didn't study in my previous school but all of the teachers guidance and support allowed me to graduate this year and all of my friends were really welcoming and they were so friendly towards me when I first came into the school. Uh, they're all also also very helpful when I, whenever I need help and whenever I have a question or a problem they will happily help me out. Sadly I've only met most of you online but I will still remember everything offline or not. Wishing you all the best. Even though I joined Stanford during the time of the pandemic and experienced the school through online learning, the school had always provided students with projects that allow us to have fun, build character, and personal skills. Some of my favorite events or memories were IDP, SOB, CCAs, and such, as students got together, though not in person, to make an awesome final product or even help a community in need. I'm glad I got to be a part of the school and will remember it going forward. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Stanford School Honors Day will start in a short time. Graduation Day is always a day of rejoicing. It marks the conclusion of one enriching journey and the commencement of another. Today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. This knowledge will enable us to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Good morning, Ibu Florentina Sunario, Dr. Peter Darmawan, Ms. Fahado, parents, teachers, staff, and students. A very warm welcome to Stanford School's 12th Annual Honors Day Ceremony. Please welcome Dr. Peter Darmawan, esteemed Executive Board Member of Stanford School, to present his opening remarks. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this year's Honors Day Ceremony. Historic occasion for each of you in our beloved school. The pandemic has forced us once again to celebrate it differently than the years before, but I hope that this year's Honors Day will still be equally memorable. Three of our Stanfordian family are currently in India Neil de Souza, Joe Franz BG, Miss Anita, and as you know, the situation in India is quite dire, so please keep them and their families in your prayers. I'm sure that by this moment that you are all aware of our current situation and the future of our beloved school. It was not a decision that we have taken lightly, and despite the challenging situation, we have never ceased to provide the very best for our students with the resources that we have. I hope that our efforts have matched or exceeded your expectation of us to prepare your children for their future. Top students and graduates, thank you for choosing to study at Stanford School as part of your learning journey. We hope that you have enjoyed your time here and have embraced the educational, cultural and social opportunities offered by the many school activities conducted by our passionate teacher. It is now time for you to close another chapter in your life and begin a fresh one. I remember the secondary four graduates as the second class that I taught in Stanford School. Their secondary education started with me as their science teacher and he has now gone full circle with me as their physics teacher at the end of their upper secondary education. I cherish the time that I have spent with you. Although Stanford School may not be present physically, we sincerely hope that you will carry on the lessons that you have learned here onwards to the next phase of your life. Remember, Stanfordians are leaders who contribute to their community and even the world. Once a Stanfordian is always a Stanfordian. Today is a very special day for all of you, one that I have no doubt will give you fond memories in the years to come. My parting message to all of you to bring to the future is to always remember to work hard in everything that you decide to do. Strive for perfection and never settle for less than your best. Your commitment, dedication, perseverance and passion are the things that will produce excellent results and will make you notice. Work hard in silence and let your success be your deafening roar. Another piece of advice I want you to remember is to never give up. It is all right to fail. Failures only makes us stronger. What is crucial, however, is to reflect and to learn from our mistakes and failures. 
always be ready to pick yourself up and try and try and try again until you succeed. I believe that Stanfordians will surely leave their mark in the world. You are a passionate bunch of people with deep sense of unity and responsibility. You will surely be a valued member of your community. Whether it is making TikTok videos to entertain people, volunteering in causes that aim to improve the world, or even helping your juniors. These are some of the many things that Stafordians do. I am very, very proud of each and every one of you. All of you have your unique set of capabilities and personal achievements. It was a huge honor for myself and your teachers to have been part of your lifelong learning journey. Finally, I offer you my heartfelt congratulations and sincere best wishes to every one of you receiving awards or graduating today. You should be extremely proud of what you have achieved and now it is time for you to take the next step in your journey. I will end my speech with a poem from William Ernest Henry titled Invictus. Out of the night that covers me, black as the feet from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbound. Beyond this place of wrath and fear looms but the horror of the shame, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matter not how straight the be, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. Stanfordians, you create your own destiny. Do not be faced by the challenges ahead. Believe in yourself because I believe in you and I shall cheer you on. I will miss each and every one of you. I love you all so, so much, and I hope that we will meet again. Thank you. Kakati the world of top students is presented to the student in each class who receives the highest overall average score at the end of the academic year in the core academic subjects. To present the awards, may I call our beloved principal, Ms. Mary Jane Fahato. From Primary 1, Kevin William Bryan Jr.
Primary 4, Alana Azani Prakarsa. Mark Clayton Brockman of Primary 6. Secondary two, Alexa Diandra Putri Naga. Secondary three, Richard Antonio Brian Hall.
secondary four, Jose Maria Divan Kiosa. Junior College One, Alicia Kevin Kurniawan. of staff members who have served the school for at least five years. The school staff, whether they are teachers, administrators, or support staff, are the lifeblood of the school. And we are all especially grateful to long-serving staff members as they are able to use their experience to bring about positive changes in the school. To present the awards, we welcome respected school board member Ibu Gorangi. Our first long service awardee. Serving for five years, Miss Maria Gloria Amestado Sombrado. Serving for five years, Jayaraj Gopala Krishna. Serving for 10 years, Ms. Caroline Parkinson Sulaiman.
for 10 years, Ms. Manda Puspa Lestari. Serving for 10 years, Ms. Purnama Krishnawati. Serving for 10 years, Ms. Shante Dewi Anggraini. you have all been waiting for. The fruits of your hard work and discipline can finally be claimed. You will now be receiving your coveted diplomas. To present the primary graduation certificates, primary vice principal, Miss Caroline Suleiman. Charlene Natasha Chandra. Mark Clayton Brockman Alicia Kaliana Hasibuan.
primary six graduate, Kushan Anantawani. Nika Pujari. Megan Arianto Pang. Students also graduated Aditya Dharmendra Banki, Luis Alvin Vincenzo Gonshell, Liliana Sofia Steele. Representing Primary 6 with their graduation speech, please welcome to the stage Anika Pujari and Mark Clayton Brockman. Good morning, Ms. Florentina, Mrs. Fajardo, Mrs. Suleiman, Mr. J, Dr. Peter, fellow students, teachers, staff, and of course, our beloved parents. I am Clayton, and I will be giving part of the speech 
on behalf of the graduating primary six class. When we talk about primary school, we often think of little children and field trips. But Stanford has offered us far greater opportunities to experience and to develop ourselves as strong, intelligent, independent individuals. When we started primary one, we were innocent, confused, little fishes fluttering around in the large, intimidating pool. But we soon found out that the waters contained many treasures to be discovered, and we began to swim. At first, my relationship with my fellow classmates was quite awkward, and many of us were rather shy around each other. However, we became more comfortable with each other, and we all began to grow in confidence. Thanks to the support of our friends, and of course, our teachers and parents. The teachers are a magic ball of unpredictability, who all brought their unique personality and talents to our development, and for sure, they are all heroes for us. We also want to sincerely thank the people for our working hard behind the scenes, such as the cleaners, resource team staff, the gardeners, the security, and the admin office for keeping the school functioning every single day. Lastly, I would also like to give special mentions to other classes for keeping the school entertaining and making it seem like an issue, but in a good way. We all have interesting memories of our time together. Some are great, some are rather odd, a few are sad, but they are all part of our adventure through primary together. I would now like to pass you over to Anika for the rest of the speech. Good morning, everyone. As we step up into secondary, I think we can all feel proud of what we have achieved and who we have become. Primary has been a wonderful challenge, and now getting into secondary offers a whole new set of challenges. We have learned so much from primary, learning how to be more confident and learning how to express our emotions and opinions in a more mature and knowledgeable way. We have learned so much. Since we are going to be moving on to new schools, we are going to be having a change of environment. But we will always remember the inspirational beginnings that Stanford gave us. I will also always remember when Charlene put a broom on Clayton's head, damaged a locker with her badminton racket, and wrecked Lily's table all at the same time. And when Adit chased Clayton, Megan, and I with his mantis spray. I will also never forget when Clayton wrecked another class's IDP work with his push pin, which has remained a secret until now. And who can ever forget the rotten fish tank that made us fight over who would wash the toxic waste inside. Although these things were a bit serious at that time, looking back to it right now, it all feels so silly and we all cherish those moments together. And of course, we will surely never find a teacher as hilariously scared of chichak as Miss Shanti. <laughs> All of these experiences and more have been as much a part of our Stanford education as our exams and classes. They have all helped to shape the young people we see before you and will surely continue to influence us throughout our teenage years. We would just like to thank everyone who has played a part in our family journey. Mrs. Florentina, Mrs. Fajardo, Mrs. Sullivan, Dr. Peter and Mr. J. All of our teachers throughout the years, and of course our beloved parents whose support and encouragement has made all possible. Thank you for listening.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Stamford 2021 Primary 6 graduates. To present the secondary graduation certificates, may I please call again Dr. Peter Tapao. Okay, let's call the secondary four graduate. The first one, Ankit Kumar Pujari. Secondary four graduate, Jose Maria Divan Kiosa. Secondary four graduate, Medina Fi Rodetay. Next secondary four graduate, Cheshire Shahman Al Kausa.
also graduated Divya Eka Putri. Representing Secondary 4 with their graduation speech, please welcome to the stage Jose Maria Divan Rosa. Good morning, respected principal, teachers, parents, and fellow students. First and foremost, I would like to take a moment to thank all of you attending this event for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of you on this very special occasion. And I would also like to thank the teachers and staff for working tirelessly throughout the past year, day after day, despite the hard challenges that they face amid COVID-19. It seemed just like yesterday that I came falling through the gates of Stamford for the very first time, wondering what I was about to lay ahead in the future. Eleven years later, and I'm standing here right now, here on this very stage, saying my farewell, farewell graduation speech on June 33, 2021. I'll be lying if I said that there was no hint of silence in the air this very morning, as this is the final goodbye for many of us. So as the saying goes, don't be sad that it's over, be happy that it's happened. As students and friends, we have made lots of memories together. Many good, some bad, but all of which we can now look back upon and laugh. We went through so much during the last decade. We often fought over some of the most trivial situations. Yet despite the disagreements, we never hesitated to have each other's back. I consider myself lucky to have met you all and to be part of the loving family that we have created throughout the years. We have had some of the best teachers who truly cared about us and taught us with passion. Whether it be Dr. Peter, who with impossible levels of patience taught us the excruciating amount of forgiveness, or whether it be Mr. Simon Still, with the silly jokes that would put smiles on our faces. They gave everything they had in hopes of molding and cherishing great contributors and leaders to society. Fellow graduates, I've known many of you for a long time, and I know that each and every one of you has something special. Everyone is talented in their own unique ways, so as cliche as this sounds, never give up, no matter how hard the situation is, because you never know what special occurrence may lay ahead in front of you in the future. But just like all good stories, it eventually comes to an end. With that in mind, I wish everyone only the best of luck and the brightest of futures. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round, a big round of applause for secondary four graduates. Many congratulations to the graduates. And on behalf of the school, I wish them all a bright, successful, and happy future. We are now at the end of our Honors Day ceremony. We would like to take the opportunity to say thank you very much to you all for coming and sharing a joyous event, event with us this morning. Thank you very much.
From JC to uh, Batch 2019, and we would like to congratulate all of you for graduating. <laughs> yeah, all of you should ha- uh, should be proud of yourself for achieving this far, or all of you should be proud of yourself for being able to graduate. 
and despite this hard and difficult time, we know that this is not the graduation you wished for or you ever dreamt of. But due to the circumstances, you're still able to graduate. So congratulations, and we would like to wish you all the best in your health and make sure you're always happy. Hi guys. So first of all, congratulations. You are finally graduated, as everyone has said. But now it is time for each of you to step into the next phase of your life. This would mean that things would get harder. However, new possibilities will always open up for each and every one of you. You will learn new activities, you will get to meet new friends, and you also understand more things about the world that you haven't known before. So, I hope that you will all bring these knowledge to the future, and I hope you all the best as you head into the future. Good luck. Hi guys, congratulations everyone. So never doubt that the choices that you make will determine the life that you create. You have the talent and skills to create the best life of your own version, no matter what the world throws you away. I wish you to continue a success as you navigate your chosen path. Don't forget to have fun because the world is yours to explore anyway, so good luck. Hello graduates. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for passing this tough educational period of secondary and primary. Hope you have a memorable time during those years. Remember, there are still chapters to go through and make sure you guys are all well prepared. I wish you all the best, enjoy all the moments, but remember, don't have too much fun. Still keep in touch with your education and see you all on top. We wish you the best. See you on top, guys. See you all on top. And congratulations to all the graduates and top students. Uh, after all these years of hard work, here is your reward finally, and you get to wear a funny hat. Uh, you're all great kids and it's been great teaching you and indeed all the students that I've taught in Stanford over the years. I'm sure you're all going to go on to do great things and enjoy today and enjoy all the adventures to come. Hi, congratulations and happy graduation for all graduates, especially for my beloved secondary four students, uh, Ankit, Cesar, Bifan, Bifia and Medina. Congrats for all your achievements this year, and I wish you all the best for your future. Okay, see you when I see you. Bye. Hi, six year old. Good morning. I'm the teacher, Wu Teacher. You know me, Wu Teacher. And then today, uh, is Teacher's last time. Last time, last time, to talk to you guys. 啊，老师先恭喜你们，恭喜你们毕业 ，Congratulations， you graduate， you did it。啊，老师很开心，然后老师希望你们在新的学校也努力学习，开开心心，好不好？要跟老师一样努力学习啊 ，work hard， study hard， and play hard， <笑> always be happy。OK, wish you all the best. 然后老师希望有一天，有一天老师可以再看你们，再和你们见面。OK， 好，再见，再见，再见，六年级。Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm super proud of you. You did an amazing job. I hope life ahead brings you. Much success! Happy graduation! Stay safe, stay healthy. Hi everyone! Congratulations, especially to our grad ones this year, our Stanford graduation 2021. I wish for the best, and I hope you will enjoy and have new friends, especially in the new school that you will be going, and in your new levels. So I hope to see you soon, and I wish everybody safety and good health. Once again, congratulations to everybody. Hi, Kevin.
congratulations for being the top student of this year's P1 class. I am very proud to say that you are the best student in my class. You always do the best that you can. You tried your best. And I would like to tell you the most important thing about learning is learning from mistakes and making it better. So it's okay and you're still very young and I'm just very happy that you are able to do all these things and I know you are very happy also and I'm very proud and happy as well. So congratulations one more time Kevin for being the top student of P1 class. Hi, it's me Clifford from P5 and I just want to say congratulations to all the graduates. And I hope you graduate with honors and with proud. And I hope you enjoy the event. Thank you. Bye. Dear graduates, congrats. All the best to you. Kumsi, 2020, 愿你前程似锦 Congratulations graduating class of 2020-2021 Cherish the sweet memories you have made while learning at Stanford School Treasure the sincere friendship you made and I wish you all the best for your future Thank you Hi, 六年级的同学们,早上好 首先刘老师呢在这里先恭祝你们,Congratulations,你们都毕业了 嗯，老师会想念你们，还记得吗？我们几年前春节活动的时候，老师叫你们一首歌，什么歌呢？春天在哪里？那个时候呢，你们还一起跳舞，谁还记得那首歌？嗯，春天在哪里呀？春天在
Bye bye. To all the graduates and to the awardees, congratulations to you and wish you all the best in your next journey. Hi, congratulations for top students. Congratulations for primary six and secondary four students for your graduation. I wish you all the best for your future and God bless you. Congratulations, my dearest P6. May your future be as spectacular as this ocean. Happy graduation. Hi, guys. You are the center of my universe. Just like the sun is the source of life, you guys gave me so much joy, so much love, uh, so much motivation to get out of bed and do the things that I do. And I will never forget the things uh, and the time that we spent together in the field trips and camps. Uh, those memories are very dear to me. And congratulations to Ankit, Devan, Cesar, Divya, Medina, and the P6 students. You guys made it, and I'm so very, very proud of you. And I wish you all the best for your future. Also, to my best friend Marco, Troy, Richard, Natalia, Andara, Rafael, uh, Kensha, Fano. Pohan, Ethan, Alexa, Kylie, Aurel, Roy, Kelly, Vashti. Uh, you guys are extremely dear to me. Okay, remember to always work hard and never give up and always do things uh, with your heart and soul. Okay, keep on shining, guys and take care and i love you to the edge of the expanding universe bye good morning parents students guests teachers and staff congratulations class 2021 and to the top students as you proceed to the next chapter of your life and as I conclude this special occasion, I would like to share with you some important things I have learned as I go through this journey called life. Courage and strength. In the face of adversity, even tragedy, try to remember the reasons for optimism and never be afraid to ask for help. Look after yourself, especially your health, both physical and mental. Truthfulness, if you carry out responsibilities consistently to the best of your ability, people will trust you and turn to you for leadership. Believe in yourself and broaden your knowledge. Embrace opportunities to collaborate. It's the key for our success as a society and helps us grow as individuals. Take risks. And don't, and don't let your fear of failure stop you. Failure is a part of life. It's another way to learn. Change is a part of life too. And it is the only constant thing in this world. At times it's frightening, but we should see it as a chance to explore and to test our limits. And most importantly, enjoy what you do. Take pleasure and satisfaction in what you achieve. Whatever your next steps, carry with you the Stanfordian spirit and values. I hope you'll be able to see your studies here in Stanford School as a part of your lifetime learning. Again, congratulations, class of 2021. And as you treasure the fruits of your hard work, I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. Dream new dreams. Embark on who you are. Embrace life with passion. And keep reaching for your stars. Shine on and go for it. All the best, class of 2021. And remember, once a Stanfordian, 
will always be a Stanfordian. Oh.